kind of got you in the uh, <laughs> during the game. So, you know, well, you want to explain what happened there in in, in uh, your your point really, of view? Really, you know, that's just come with me a little bit. Uh, really, I've never done like nothing, nothing like that either. But really, just passion and just just being a competitor. Um, you know, um, I love to just do anything I can to help the team. You know. And uh, you know, I let the emotion get the best of me. Was the message just get me the ball more? Uh, no, nah, not so much that. Uh, pretty much just you know, Dylan. Dylan it was pretty much just me talk, just talking to um, JG a little bit, and you know, those that's that's two competitive guys right there, and more so just um, me just want to do anything I can. Not so much get me the ball more though. When it happened on Thursday night, we thought it was Kenny Galladay jawing at quarterback Daniel Jones. When you see the clip there at the very right edge of the screen, right. you see the red hair of Jason Garrett. So Galladay wasn't mad at the guy who wasn't, in his view, properly executing the play. He was mad at the guy who is responsible for calling the plays. I don't know that that makes it any better. Game two of his career with the Giants. Chris, what's your perspective on it? Well, I do think it's better. I do. You know, I don't think the optics are good if we got the receiver yelling at the quarterback, at least in that way. Like, you know, you're going to have that. But I will say, like, so th th this happens more than people realize on NFL sidelines. Top end receivers don't feel involved in the game, and they start to yell at the OC about, you know, giving the ball. Or, I got this. Or, they can't cover me doing that. And I think that's all they're trying to say right there. You know, I think that's really what it comes down to. This is not like crazy, but it's the, it's the Daniel Jones aspect that everybody wants to jump on, especially here in the New York area, because people are looking for ways to jump on him. But I, I don't think this is that crazy in today's NFL. It happens a lot. Where it's bad for Kenny Galladay, Mike, is just like, you know, you just got here and you were hurt for most of the training camp and preseason and all that. Like, let's just, just like, let's get in the season and, and start yelling once you're hitting on all cylinders, then okay, you can do that. But right now, he's like, I don't even think totally 100% himself yet, uh, and he's doing that. That's where it doesn't look good on him. He did say that he spoke to Garrett after the game and everything is fine. There's a certain hierarchy, level of respect yeah. that needs to be afforded. There's a line between players and coaches. That's where it's a bad look as it relates to the coach relationship. You don't want to see that kind of demonstrative attitude, although Tom Brady has done it plenty of times over the years and he gets praised for it, so who knows? But Bill O'Brien yeah. has heard it from a, from Brady and Josh McDaniels has as well. But the, the message is this, cameras are everywhere. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.